Satoru Gojo's death was planned from chapter one. From his very first fight with Sukuna, the King of Curses immediately figured out his curse technique and worked on a plan to kill Gojo. The answer was Megami. Gojo stated that in the past, a Limitless user with the six eyes and a 10 shadows user had killed each other. And so it makes sense that Megami was the only person Sukuna cared about and why he kept him alive, proceeding to save him during the Shibuya incident arc. This is because Sukuna knew that Maharago was the key to adapt to Gojo's Limitless after battling it first hand as it could see his technique. Thus, he desired it for himself, gaslighting Yuji into accepting his binding vow. This is because he deduced that Megami was a capable vessel, meaning that he could use Maharaga's adaptability to cut existence itself and ultimately kill Satoru Gojo.